Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by. If you're crew here, I appreciate your subscribe. Crazy facts about famous serial killer cases. Jeffrey Dahmer didn't eat people with tattoos because he said the ink made the flesh taste weird. Dorangel Vargas killed and ate at least 10 people. He only ate men because he said their meat tasted better than women's. He also wouldn't eat fat people because he thought they contained too much cholesterol. Phew. I'm safe. I told you so. You're kidding. What? I told you so. Okay. Now, I know you have, uh, I think, a role in Nashville Beat. Right. We're going to show a clip in a minute, but have you thought about expanding that and going on to the movies, maybe be a cowboy? Yeah, I told them if they ever need somebody to be a bad guy, which is weird, I'd love to be a bad oh, guy. No, you don't want to be a bad no. guy, no. I mean, you look like a good guy, you know? Okay, I guess. I'd, I'd rather kill somebody. Oh, you are? <laughs> <laughs> look at that tooth right there. That's a serial killer tooth. <laughs> I'd rather kill somebody. Nigga, you need to kill your dentist first. <laughs> he sucks. Karma. Well, yeah, somebody matched up. I saw something where they matched up, like, his tour dates with missing people. That's, that's the whole, like, that's the premise of this idea. Like, okay. people are, like, saying that I'm, you know, like, trolling the guy. All I'm doing is repeating what I've heard, that allegedly his tour schedule aligns with, like, dozens of missing persons. Yeah. And so... Oh, well, that's... I mean, it's just something that, like... At least you would bring up and talk. It's like, why do people talk about UFOs? You know, why do why why have the conversation about something in the like? Well, because yeah. people are saying that that could be a visitor from another planet. Right? Like, are we not going to have uh, even a conversation about it? Right. If uh, if if seventy five people are missing and they're an all in cities that like he He's had just been done, in. I mean, it's not, it's it's logical to say, well, okay. And look at him there. You telling me I'm not You're saying he's done anything. But that's the 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 smile and the stare of a guy who has never done anything illegal. And when you ordered it, you said give me an egg sandwich with some cheese and bacon. It's a bacon, egg, and cheese. What you're trying to do is to say that I'm Doing something I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm just saying you could have said bacon, egg, and cheese. It's a lot easier. That's all I'm saying. When you order a BLT, what do you say? Give me a tomato sandwich, and can I have some lettuce and bacon on it? Come on, it's crazy. You just say BLT. Clothes don't really get the lingo like that. It's like, uh, what is it, Bruce Willis. The guy said, oh, it's raining like dogs and cats, and that's how his character knew that guy was not an American. Because we say it's raining like cats and dogs. Snoop Dogg is arguably the most famous rapper in the world. He's also arguably the most sponsored, advertised rapper in the world. Snoop is a gang member. That's the business that we okay. have. Snoop did the Super Bowl as a gang member. Snoop, they don't stop him from nothing. We will bypass certain things if, you know, Kodak, well, let's use it. I don't want to just get to name and names, but in hip hop, we excuse it. When we don't excuse it, or when they don't excuse it, because who knows who's calling the shots in culture, we see fast action. They got on the baby fast for whatever he said on stage. Mm -hmm. When they want to get you, they'll get you. Mm -hmm. If we're not getting you, there's a reason that we're not getting you. Because we need we need some sort of uh, agenda perpetuated. I believe words have meaning, and you can will some shit to you. Like, I believe in the slaves having to sing secret songs and talk in code. I believe that music is a frequency. Yeah. And you now know that the media companies, the same people that refuse to put good news on the morning news and the six o'clock news for a reason, the same thing, reason we see the same thing before every election, we're seeing it now, right? Then you know that media companies are signing a certain acts for frequencies to speak to the neighborhoods that they want those frequencies to go to. Oh, man, I wasn't.
already know how I feel about my Samoan family, but this might be the new eviction letter. Hey, look, everybody, they turned off the new diversity filter for the new army recruitment video. Look, white, white, white. All these men are white. Look at them. <laughs> white, white, white. You never see white people in commercials anymore. Rarely. But look, everyone, white, white. You know, they hate you until they want you to go fight a war for them, right? Look at parachuting in, white, white. Look, no diversity, no trans people, no nothing. Look, this guy's so happy to be at war. <laughs> <laughs> Got you something. What is it? You got me chocolate. Yep, your favorite. I love chocolate. I know. All girls love chocolate. <laughs> Wait, how do you know all girls love chocolate? It's just a thing. Have you bought another girl chocolate? That's not what I was insinuating when I said about you. But have you bought another girl no, chocolate? No, that's not what I was trying to say when but I said But have you bought yes, another girl yes, chocolate? Yes, I bought another girl chocolate. It. What? I've dated in the past. Okay, I don't want anything that you bought for another woman, Gus. I, I've, I've gone on dates where I've bought lots of food and shit. Okay, before. don't buy me anything. Okay, any cool. So, so no tacos, no pasta, no wings. No pizza, no Mexican food, no fucking nothing, Ray. No nothing then. No boba? No nothing, exactly. Pretty sure I bought someone fucking coffee before. Oh snap, I've bought somebody coffee before. <laughs> I don't know, his friend can be behind the door. I mean, that's a very good student project. Does anyone want to tell me how in 1927 Universal Studios came up with this picture of the world? Man, she's got an annoying voice. I mean, I know my cold voice sounds terrible, but golly, can't even watch the rest of the clip. So all the ladies out there, you saying he never takes me nowhere. He, what are you ashamed of me? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks. I'm super embarrassed at that voice. I'll be like, God damn, just don't say nothing. I'm just, I'm just saying. Some stereotypes are, you know. I'm, I'm just saying. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. A'udhu billah min ash-shaytan ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaykum. Oh, hell no. Why do the Catholic priest, whenever it's a haunting, he always seem like he more scared than me. Nigga, I called you. Can you get rid of it? He's uh, no speak Arabic? No speak English? What's your name? What's your name? That's a homeless dude. Now, I'm not against believing that this is a possessed homeless dude. Or maybe he just want a sandwich. But that is a I want to make a sandwich of your face smile.
It's all fun and games till he slipped right into that little cave right behind him. Rocks can be a part of the beach, which is a part of the ocean. That's why I just give the ocean this space, man. That's all I got for today. If you stayed this long, I got something for you. Tune in again. We'll do it then.